Hello everybody, this is Itchu. Still working on this skull shorting. Uh, I'm back to a uh, single diode environment, so I have only one diode in series with the drain of the MOSFETs and another diode going to uh, the cap. Instead of the voltmeter I have put here a 12 volt 21 watt bulb. And another change is that I have changed the transformer with a 220 volt 12 volt which I put on a variac. So this is the uh, 220 volt 12 volt secondary transformer and it's being fed by this uh, variac. And the variac is put into the mains and I'm monitoring the wattage being pulled by this uh, 12 volt 21 watt bulb. 12 volt secondary goes to my uh, system with the two Schottky diodes, one in series with uh, the drain of the MOSFETs, two MOSFETs still, and the other diode goes to the cap and then to the bulb. Uh, I have my probes hooked up uh, one directly across the bulb and the other probe, the yellow probe, is across a 0 0.1 ohm, 0 0.1 ohm resistor in the return line so I can measure the, the current and the voltage across the bulb. It's uh, 50 hertz mains here so I put my little function generator a little bit above 50 hertz so it slowly scrolls by and we can see the upper red trace is the uh, voltage across the bulb we are at uh, 20 volts per division on the red trace and 200 millivolts on the yellow trace being the current trace so we have a uh, single rectified uh, half wave into the bulb and now it's about uh, 16 volts peak to peak almost 17 until uh, the shorting passes by and then we see that the voltage uh, the shorting and uh, the peak of the pulse uh, goes to about 70 volts And also the current, which is about 300 millivolts normally, peaking till uh, 450 millivolts when the shorting occurs. And I see a slight increase in light in the bulb. So we have more power going into the bulb during this and this is also be seen on the input. Which varies between uh, 22 watts in uh, normal until 30 watts in the top of the peak. And I notice a kind of uh, hum on the transformer. And mostly when it passes I think 90 degrees plus and minus of the top. Not sure you can hear it but... So uh, this shorting uh, makes uh, makes some uh, some influence on the bulb, also on the light, uh, but also the input increases uh, from the variac. 
so uh, I don't think we have a, uh, a net gain here somewhere by spiking uh, this uh, I would imagine that the shorting uh, the secondary would in introduce some uh, uh, some more amperage pulling by the system but also we see the light uh, light up probably not visible here but uh, now it dims a little bit but it's very hard to see on the on the video but uh, there is some light increase and decrease okay I think that's all I can do on this uh, shorting of the coil. There is some difference, but there is no no net gain to be found uh, in my experiments. Okay, thank you all for watching.